hi guys hi guys and everyone welcome back to my channel guys welcome back to it another video thank you so much for tuning in very very welcome so yeah guys if you are new here my name is philip papa and thank you so much for clicking it to philip papa's entertainment please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed you guys like the video while you're still watching i will appreciate it that much you guys thank you so much uh, to my regular subscribers and if you are returning subscriber you guys um yeah to all to everyone else yeah thank you so much guys for joining me today is i want to discuss a uh, this thing i got so easy and no more hard and, and guys i'm sorry as you can see today like where i'm sitting okay i know some of you are gonna be distracted by this wall and yaga yaga that is here do you know why i'm trying to run away from ama lights you know like i told you in my room i've got these down lights have you seen my previous videos like when i'm recording i really are uh, this tape and i can't switch them off because i need my room to be, you know, the lights to be on so that who can you and then I can just add these other small lights that I have. But if I switch off the room lights because I have on my video and then it's not going to work. You know, I'm going to need a lot of lighting which I don't have uh, at the moment. So I just need my room lights. So if I'm done lights and my name, you guys, they're just everywhere. So like I'm trying to dodge them. That's why I'm sitting here. Can you see by my bedside? But then you can make makeup that is here. <laughs> Let us just hope you don't get distracted. Okay. I hate to try it because I hate it when I'm recording and these lights are just like, you know, you know, like by the corners of my video, they just stay and there's nothing I can do. Even if I can sit there or if I can sit there, I just, I call them my light because as a camera and there's nothing I can do, you guys. I tried my best to sit here. You can see Lia Vela Kangan, but I need to stay Pingangak. But now the whole Nyaga Nyaga that is here is just a lot. But things are changed because I think it's better when I'm here. So back to today's video, you guys, Mohale and Somizi. So guys, but Mohale just won against Usomizi. If you do know there is a lot that has been happening between Mohale and Somizi and these guys, your lend your it comes like way back, you guys. So I never since no court long years. I really was kind of like forgotten about Mohale and Somizi who did they take each other to court. And so it is out with Usomizi uh, lost against Omohale, you guys a lot has been happening when it comes to these two guys so mizi was married to Omohale mutawung and yeah of course the marriage marriage didn't last and Mohale was dragged to be a gold digger who just was being with so mizi for so mizi's money because so mizi is a very loaded guy let us be honest oh brother is a loaded guy so everyone was like, okay, this marriage lasted, was it one year or two years? The marriage, it lasted like not very long. So Mohale was dragged for being a gold digger, you guys. Um, a lot happened, but yeah, so it turns out after all that. So Mohale wins, guys. Mohale wins. So let us just go. Before I can go on social media and, my son is just making noise. Before I can go on social media and, um, read what other people are saying <laughs> i just want us to go and read the story a good times life okay see you know so that we can just uh people who can follow some of us who you know who do not know some of our viewers let us just go and read so here on times life they said as so busy with the draws divorce and pays mohales legal fees as it turns out they were never married there was a whole nyaga nyaga there, guys. See, now we know who they were married because we saw the white wedding. Remember, there were all some Mohale wedding, you guys. Yo, imagine. And then when it came out, who did Somizi and Mohale were never married? Somizi never paid love. I was like, but how? Because we saw the some Mohale wedding. It was said, okay, very, very, they were never married. And I mean, I'm not going to take it. But what about the same Mohale thing? The wedding was just, you know. So here they're saying it turns out they were never married. But how did it happen? How did the white wedding happen with that? Like, mm -mm, for now, did they like because Ngaba wanna be shot? But anyways, you guys, um, so they said here, uh, uh, so uh, pays Mukhalis legal fees. It is as it turns out, they were never married. Okay, that did done again. Let us carry on and read. Um, but here, when I with times life, um. So Ms. Mtlongo and Mohale Mutawung have finally closed the chapter on their lengthy um, legal battle as lawyers revealed their marriage was non-existent, okay? So uh, Chisa Live has seen a legal document that show the idols uh, as a judge, okay, has withdrawn his divorce summons against Mohale. The plaintiff hereby withdraws the action instituted against the defendant and tenders the... Uh, 
the defendant is text and or agreed part and cost reads the document. So this after Mukhale in his plea denied entering into a valid customary marriage on September um what happened now? Okay, September twenty eight uh September twenty eight uh twenty nineteen. Okay, in August twenty twenty one. So Mizi said he wanted his divorce finalized fairly and reasonable amid abuse claims by Mohale in a recorded interview with the producer of the Living Dream with So Mizi. Okay, that's his reality show. So he says he had handed the matter over to his lawyers. Later, Somizi sent a summons for divorce to Mohale, noting that regarding the division of their joint estate, uh, they were married in community of property under customer law. Okay, in speaking to Chisa Live, Somizi's legal representatives said they obtained expert opinion clarifying uh, the existence of the marriage that revealed not all customs were complied with, meaning despite the two celebrating a public wedding, they were never married in the eyes of the law. Okay, so therefore, so Mizi having instituted divorce proceedings, uh, has to pay Mohale's legal fees, a common practice. Speaking on the abuse allegations, Mohale's legal representative, Mabu Maharoeshe, I hope I said that properly, said there were other legal avenues that could be explored. This is the end of the road in terms of the divorce as it is considered they were never married. So we are aware of actions that can be taken which include the alleged assault and we are also considering whether there is a possible case of defamation in respect of the allegations that were publicly made uh, that our client is uh, one of the um, one who issued the summons and wanted half of Somizi's assets which painted him as a gold digger. So Mrs. Lika representative said their client continued to deny the allegations. We know about the abuse allegations, but our client has denied all along and still denies. So this is what is happening, you guys. So oh by a trend as it is, you guys, as it is by a trend that Ukuti actually won against Uso Mizi. I'm like, ah oh, my poor guy, some some um, but anyways, you guys, um, wow, it's a lot, man, it's a lot. Okay, so, so since we saw the Somkhale wedding, how the hell is it, they were never married? So, okay, their marriage happened publicly, but it was never recognized. Okay. I was going to you guys, but anyways, so people are talking on Twitter. People are discussing Mohale is boss. The old man just rest and stay away from kids. Then he, he won't lose money. Hey guys, now they are going to troll some easy. Basom Donsa. Basom Donsa. for losing this one. But anyways, you guys, he's a strong guy, man. So MTN News said, uh, so Mizi has dropped his counter case against Mohale relating to domestic violence. Johannesburg High Court has ordered him to pay all Mohale's legal fees. A leaked court document that was shared to social media suggests that Somizim Tlongo has withdrawn his case. So this is the legal document. Let's save it. Uh, but um, congratulations to Umo Hale, you guys. Congratulations to Umo Hale. Hey, this has been ongoing for quite long, you guys. But now I'm glad with the Baizo Ivala Yongele chapter. It, it was so much, you know, a lot happened. Mohale accusing Somizi. Napa guys at Drekisha on social media for being a gold digger. Okay, okay. He went to Somizi because Somizi is loaded. I want you to okay, no, Somizi vele vele. Unyakang mungwa neng. Hey, like, because Mohale is quite younger than Upra Somsom. So, we go ning you guys when it comes to these two guys. Um, Tina, all we knew they were married. Ugudi, their marriage was never recognized. After seeing that huge, like, that Somhale wedding, yo! Oh! That was one of the weddings, hey? Basically, they were never married. I'm like, no, this this must be a joke. But I understand, uh, I understand you guys. It is, it is explained here. So, someone said to uh, Mohale never asked for 50% of Somizi's assets. That's a narrative that Somizi went with so he could fit into the uh, he's a gold digger storyline he wanted to keep. Mohale showed his lawyers later to Somizi, and the only 50% he wanted was for the contract um they jointly signed okay
so mm, it's a lot you guys um uh, somebody then saying we need to be honest about Swami's getting gigs and his daughter because her father uh, is well connected. Okay, we guys, I'm not gonna drag my homie into this. <laughs> we are about Mohale and Swami. Um, it's a lot, man. So, Oprah, so, so I'm losing this one. You see, like, yeah, the pictures of the Somali wedding that was a very huge wedding, you guys. It was one of the, yo, and as you guys, I've never seen such a big wedding. This was, it was something nice though, eh? So yeah, uh, let us just save this one and share, yeah, man. But anyways, you guys, it's those the game pillion. It's life, man. It happens and it goes a lula, like, you know. So, man is not bad. said, all this was just to, uh, for TV content. The pastor forgot the papers on Somizim Shongo. Says, Mohale Motaung's waiting day. So they didn't sign. So their marriage has been declared. And exacting in court, and exacting or unexisting. I don't know, you guys, what they wrote here. <laughs> it's a lot. Uh, this is people communicating when it comes to Mohale. So, after the interview of a uh, hashtag Mohale OTR, I was I can safely say Mohale is way uh mature. That's so easy. He mastered getting his point across uh, with being malicious and also with no friends to support him in school um uh, to support him school is important part of mohale for real okay so your so is wrong for making it look like mohale asked for 50 percent okay of his assets for 50 percent of his assets when mohale clearly only asked for 50 percent of the wedding money they received from show max he's so evil Okay, that's what Mohale asked for, all right? Ah, Tina, we knew who could be very well, but 50% of everything. That's what we knew. Minaja understood that Mohale is a gold digger because he wanted 50% of LS that Somizi owns. People were saying, including some of Somizi's mothers, um, the, 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 you want to listen to Zagamawaka, but ah, Mohale, what in Yak, Kuru, Mohale, Uru Yaga, every, each and every single cut. So that's why we're saying, ha, ah, this guy is a gold tigagana mashlon. Something like that, because he was so dragged, man. But finally, he, wa he wins this one, hey? <laughs> he wins this one. Congratulations to Mohale. And a kiss to Oprah Som Som. But anyways, it is life. It is life, you guys. And life goes on after this, I guess. So marriage between the two people of uh, the same gender doesn't exist. Praise the Lord. So Mr. Um, Songo and Mohale Motaung have finally closed the chapter on their lengthy legal back as lawyers revealed their marriage was non-existent. Hey, I'm going guys. But why? Well, I don't understand. Mukhali is also from an OK above actual family of educated parents. He can't be homeless. <laughs> OK, you guys, what are you talking about? It's a lot, man. Uh, all the communication I about so Mizi and Mohale, Ogutu Uputu Mohale actually wins and people are saying he never really asked for fifty percent of everything that So Mizi owns. So Mizi was lying. Da 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 kuning you guys in Tambe there's still more that is going to come when it comes to these two guys. So for today is all uh, the about uh so Mizi losing against Mohale. But anyways, guys, like I said, it is life life goes on and in the Zenzeka. So congratulations to put Mohale. For winning this one and ask is Rasom Som Limpi Loki at Holagala and you know, what can we say? So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. Like the video before you go, subscribe to the channel and then I'll meet you again on my next one.